Yes, my friends, it's 1911 day. And inside this box is 1911 that I just bought to add to my collection. I already have one 1911, which is this Remington R1 Enhanced. Very nice gun, but I once heard someone say that a 1911 isn't a 1911 unless you guessed it. It is. Oh God, the blue box. Yes, a 1911 isn't a 1911 unless it's a Colt. Well, as you can see from the blue box, it is a Colt. And it is the Colt Series 70 1911. That's right. I was actually going to wait on this, but, you know, since... Alright, sorry for the interruption, guys, but basically my son's got this new thing where whenever he takes a dump, he takes his pants off, runs around the house, and it's just a matter of time before the diaper comes off afterwards, and that is just something I didn't know, did not want to deal with, cleaning up a shitty floor or whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, this is my, uh, it's Colt's, uh, it's the Colt 70 series, if I can even say that right. Um, I was... Trying to hold off a little bit on buying a cult. I wanted, it's like a bucket list item type of a deal. But since Colt made their little, or the announcement was made that Colt was going bankrupt uh, when I went in there, they said that they were only had a few left in stock. It was this one, a Super 38, and I forgot what the other one was. It was, uh, I think it was a, uh, one of their commander models that was left. So. I wanted a plain Jane GI model, and this is as close as I was going to get. And you know, it's got the uh, wood grips, the rounded off mainspring housing, the beaver tail's a little bit more extended than the GI model. You know, it's got the regular hammer, um, regular sights. Uh, I'm probably going to put, you know, maybe put a little white on there just so you can see it a little bit better. The uh, finish on it, it's like a two tone stainless almost, I guess, because it looks bead blasted on the bottom and, you know, polished. On the slide, um, the uh, what the hell? Jesus Christ! I can't even freaking talk. The uh, thumb safety, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than I guess what the regular GM model would have. Um, it did only come with one seven-round magazine, but the uh, shop owner told me give you know call Colt to see if it actually is supposed to come with two. And it actually turns out when I spoke to him, great customer service uh, on there. The guy helped me out pretty good. I mean, it was only on the phone for a couple of minutes, but he basically looked it up, you know, took the serial number, made sure it was, the, it was supposed to come with two, and they're sending me a second one in the mail. But in the meantime, I got some of these Wilson Combat mags. So they're going without a problem. And these are the eight round magazines. So. Other than that, that's it. This is my uh, newest addition to the collection, the uh, Colt 70 series, 1911. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Ooh, looky, looky. Ba -ba 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 -ba.